Okay, today's video is gonna show you how to take a Google slide and turn it into a flyer or a poster. So here I am, I'm in the Google folder where I wanna make my slide. I click on new and I click on Google Slides. So what's gonna happen, a Google slide is gonna open up and everything's gonna load. We wanna realize that when you take a look at this Google slide, it's in landscape and we don't want it in landscape. We want this to be in a portrait mode, okay? So what we have to do is we actually have to click on the text boxes first and we have to delete them. So here's my text box. I highlight it once, I hit the backspace key, I'm gonna get rid of it. I have my other text box on here and I delete that. You could just delete the whole slide and then add a new slide, a blank one. It's easier for me just to click this and delete it. Next, you wanna go to file, then you wanna scroll down to page setup. And notice you have three options and then a custom. We wanna go straight to custom and we wanna change it to an 8.5. By 11. So we want a sheet of paper in portrait mode. Okay, 8.5 by 11. Okay, we click OK and we're good to go. So here is our the beginning of our flyer. Now we want to talk about the things we want to put on our flyer and we put on text boxes, images, you put a chart if you want, a word art, lines and shapes. So the first thing we're going to do is text box, uh, but I want it to be a little exciting. So when I click on word art, all I have to do is type in what I want in this word art, and then I hit the enter key, and lo and behold, we're gonna put a nice cool word art right in here. Now you can rearrange the shape and the size of this, so I'm gonna just make it a little taller. And then when we're here, I can go up to these tools and I can use the fill color for dark purple for Hanover Elementary School, okay? I also can click here on the font if I wanted to. I can change it to impact. The font sometimes is kind of a little crazy, and the reason why is sometimes it just might not look good. So we'll choose that. Uh, then after that, it, you would go up to the text box. And if you don't want to put more word art on, you would just click on the text box icon, drag a rectangle, and then now you can type it in. So this event is hats on for cancer. It's an event they're having that you can wear a hat one day if you bring in a dollar, and they're gonna raise some money for cancer research. So notice I highlight the text, then I go to the more section, because my themes is on here, I'm running out of space in my toolbar, and I center it. I then from the same spot is I can change the font size. And then here I also just click here and I'm going to go to fair play display, and kind of make it interesting. Notice if you make the size too big, you just have to go back down to the text box, and then make it so to make this a little more interesting, I want to put a shape. I click on the shape button. I want to put a shape behind it. I'm in the shape window. It gives me the little cursor here and I just drag a box over these first two um, text boxes. And I want to put a box right here. Notice when I put this box here, it actually filled it with gray. I'm going to click on the fill button. I'm going to change it to a lighter purple. But notice I need to make sure it's arranged in the right order. So after I change the color, I click on order and I send it all the way to the back. And now our text is on top of that purple box. So I can put more text boxes on and I can put more shapes, kind of spruce it up a little. I'm going to show you how I can put images on. Now when I, whoops, when I click this image button, it gets to this window and I'm going to search for images. Well, I already have the Hanover Hawk uh, in an album in my Google photo. So I click on your albums, which are my albums. I click on elementary school logos, and then I scroll down and find the Hanover Hawk. There it is. Not the best screenshot because I grabbed a little purple from the name, but we can use it. So I click on select and I bring it in here. Now I can change the size of the Hanover Hawk as long as it doesn't pixelate too much. And it's pixelating just a little. And I can put it right here. Here's the problem if you try to put a image that has white on top of a text box or a shape that has a color in it. That's what happens. Kind of doesn't look so good, so I'm gonna bring it down. If you notice here, I have these two little uh, portions of the letters that when I screenshot it didn't work good. So you know what I'm gonna do? I click over the shapes. I get the shape of a square. And I just put a little white square around those two lines you're never gonna know it was there. You're gonna know it's there though if the background color is gray, so I'm gonna turn that to purple. And then I can use the border color and the border color right now has a black line so i'm going to change that and now look i just put a white box on that little 
uh, purple that was there that kind of didn't make the image look good. So there it is, Hanover Elementary School hats on for cancer. I could click on the text box and I can make another text box over here and give you the who, what, why, when, and where. I would type that in here. And then I would go back to images. And what I want to do is instead of searching my albums, I want to click the search button and I want to type in baseball hat. Now you can wear any hat that day, but I'm just going to try to grab a whole bunch of baseball images here. Look, and there's, there's one right there. You have to head one at a time. So when you select the image and you bring it in, I can drag it wherever I want. Now here's where the layering comes in, just like we used to do in pages. And you can do it in Photoshop if any of you use that. But now I can put these images wherever and I would just um, place these images of hats all around here until it filled up my poster or my flyer and then I would be ready to print and I could click right up on file and I would click on print and then I would choose my printer and then it would zip right out okay and slowly but surely and you're gonna get a preview loaded right here and now there's my um, there's my poster that I made. Now I'm gonna show you here though, I already made a different one. Here's what I did, I took this hat, I made it a little small and I put it right on the Hanover Hawk. Then, oh, I moved it, so put it back, put it right on that. And then I put a couple different backgrounds on all the text boxes and this is where I did. I put all the images down here at the bottom. So there it is, Hanover Elementary presents Hats On for Cancer, October 20th, Hanover Elementary School, all day long, cost a dollar. So that's how you take a Google slide and turn it into a flyer or a poster. I already hope this was a long one, uh, but there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. So hopefully this was helpful.